South Kashmir and the search operations are going on in the Anantanag area. This information is being picked up by way of uh, security, uh, by way of a government sources. We're going to wait for some more details to come in from my colleague Ishan Wani from Srinagar. But security forces have been on a high to ensure that the law and order situation doesn't go out of control. Just yesterday, the election commission held a press conference in Srinagar saying that the time is ripe and that they are ready to conduct elections. Government has often been making the point that there are always going to be some forces who wouldn't want electoral normalcy to return to the valley, but we are not going to be daunted by that. So it is in this context also we need to understand why the terrorists are on their toes, are being kept on their toes and uh, every attempt being made by them to disrupt law and order is being thwarted. Let me go across to my colleague Ishan. Ishan, we've just pointed out the reasons why the forces are on their toes to ensure nothing goes wrong. What is it that you can get for us as far as these gunshots and the latest search operation? Well, what we know so far, gunfire that has taken place in uh, the upper reaches of Kokarnab. Uh, the area where this uh, thing has happened, uh, it's close to the, uh, you know, Rajori, Punch, Doda and all these areas or in Jammu region. Uh, they have been very hot. There, there's no doubt there are highly trained and professional uh, killers who are out to target security forces. And, uh, you know, this is an encounter where forces suspect that it could be a group of them who have uh, come from Doda and uh, tried to settle their base in the forest area of uh, you know, Kokarnag. Uh, we have seen uh, pa Palavi recall in Kadol. A massive encounter took place uh, last year when uh, you know, army soldiers were killed, a civil security force person sustained injuries, officers were also killed in the same, almost the same area. And back then also their trend of staying in forests and particularly trying to occupy the peaks was seen. And, uh, you know, but the election commission, as you were pointing out earlier, that has made it clear mm -hmm. that incidents like these uh, wouldn't deter them from holding elections in Jammu and Kashmir because it's the time is right and uh, no internal or external force can deter that. Uh, but these incidents will happen, but uh, for forces, it, it could be a major success if they are able to neutralize uh, any of those militants who are trapped in this forest area. Uh, they are taking advantage of the dense forest cover and the sort of hills that are available for them. And since this area closes area to the Jammu region, that's why the forces believe that they could have been a newly group which has come in uh, from that particular part because in Doda, we have seen multiple attempts being made to attack security forces, to attack civilians and also buses. Uh, but it seems like because of the forces inbuilt in uh, Doda region, uh, that they might have tried to sneak into the Kashmir side and then at some point of time might have tried to get, go back there. Uh, but yes, forces have been able to generate input and the Indian Army, JNK police and the paramilitary force are launching an operation. The operation is still in progress. The, the information is bleak because in, there is very less communication available in these forest areas. The forces are trying to gather information, see that how many of them are trapped and the engagement with the force is still going on. Absolutely. And Ishan, that's the reason, as you rightly pointed out, the, there has to be elections and normalcy. They're not going to be debted by this. But many, many thanks. We are going to wait for some more updates from you.